big strategy for law school success, especially during that first year and especially during that first semester, is to treat school like a job. I came from working full time and that was really helpful because just like high school uh, was less hard than undergrad, undergrad prepares you for law school, but law school is going to be 10 times harder. And until you can figure out how much effort you need to put into law school, it's best to put in all the effort that you can. So the way I did that was I would go to school, I would be in the library at 8 a.m., I would stay until 5 or 6 p.m. that evening, and I would do that every single day the entire semester. Now, sometimes I had to work a little bit more, but even if I had to work less, I would still put in that same time in order to uh, in order to prepare myself for coming exams and coming classes. So if you treat it like a job and you put in those solid hours routinely every day, it's really going to benefit you in the end. Um, try to avoid procrastination. <laughs> you know, start reviewing the material early, maybe halfway through the semester. Start getting your outline together. Um, if there's a lot of material that is going to be thrown at you. And it's your job to comprehend and master it. And so um, start to take, give yourself enough time to um, uh, review and, and learn what, what the content you're supposed to be um, taking in. And also talk in class. Uh, I'm, that's not a natural um, inclination of mine to raise my hand and answer and talk, but Professors like it. It helps you stay engaged in in the course material, and I would recommend that. I'd say the biggest strategy that I capitalize on is just to be resourceful. Um, it, sometimes it might be to my detriment, but I have a really hard time saying no to things. And more times than not, those experiences have ended up leading into something really beneficial. So whether it be joining a society or stopping someone in the hallway or applying for an externship, internship, a position at a law firm, most of the time it ends up working out in your favor. And those have led to better things in the future. So I'm always trying to be resourceful and meet new people and ask for help when needed. That was something that I never really did in undergrad and it's really benefited me in law school. Um, I have two strategies um, that I think are very effective. Number one being routine, having a study routine every morning, you know, getting, getting your cup of coffee, getting your banana, knowing that that's your breakfast, going to school, making yourself a salad, you know, having a routine and not having to be like, oh, I don't have lunch today. What am I going to do? I have 10 minutes. It eliminates that extra pressure in your life so that you can focus on academics. You're not, you're not distracted by daily tasks. And also uh, another strategy that I think is super important is having peers to fall back on, um, you know, having that support to get you through the classes and um, knowing that you have other people who are going through the same struggle as you, it makes it seem way less daunting. Um, so try to branch out, say hi, if you even don't want to say hi, and you never know, those people might be uh, with you to the end. My strategy my first year was just to reach out and ask for help whenever I needed it. I uh, reached out to a lot of my TAs, asked them strategies on uh, the test, and I reached out to my professor. And um, I wasn't afraid to just go online, look at supplements, and um, I was kind of lost in some of my classes. So um, I reached out a lot, even to people within my own class who seemed to know what was going on. So I did that, and I also uh, formed a study group with some friends. I know it's going to be on Zoom in the fall, so it might be hard, but I, I reached out to some friends, and uh, we studied every week, and we built an outline slowly during the week. So it was good to, uh, yeah, stay prepared uh, throughout the whole semester. 